Almost seven? All right, here we go again. Welcome to the stretch session. It's good to see you all. Um, we'll, we're going to do a whole body stretch. Um, we're going to uh, target some hips because we have some sore hips out there today for sure, but it is going to be the whole body. If you have any spots that uh, you're feeling near the end, feel free to just jump in and let me know. Um, let's just start with some deep breathing. Breathing in through the nose, good stretching up. Get comfortable wherever you'd like to be. You don't have to be on the floor. You can be in a chair. You can be standing whatever, wherever you feel most comfortable, okay? Breathing in, awesome. Breathing out. Try to breathe in through your nose whenever you can. Just nice and slow, almost to a count of four or five, and then breathing out again. Awesome, guys. Let's just do some big arms. Just trying to get warmed up. I'm chilly, hence the sweater. I don't know if you guys are. If you haven't been moving around too much yet today, you want to kind of warm up a little bit. Just remember, whenever you're doing any of these warm-up moves, no clicking or grinding. You want to kind of keep it in a range that feels good for any of the joints that you're moving. Awesome. And then we're just going to stretch over. Good. Awesome. And just, if you can, taking a nice deep breath. And breathing out. Whenever you're moving your spine, if you can breathe in, kind of inflates through the torso, gives you a little extra spacing. One more time to the other side. Excellent. Good job. All right, we're just going to move uh, the hips a little bit. So we're just going to uh, start with our feet. I don't know if you can see me that well, but in my black socks. Sorry about that. So just uh, move your ankles back and forth, just relaxing them. Keep your back nice and comfortable while you're doing this. The knees can be bent or straight. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm on a little bit of a cushion because I find being flat on the floor is not a, that comfortable on my low back. I'm a little bit tight. So if you have a cushion or something you want to put under your butt just to take the stress off your low back, feel free. And we'll do some circles with those ankles. Just nice and easy. We aren't really you know, stretching yet, but just kind of warming up those joints. We're just going to go around a few times. Good. And then we're just going to do some sliding in and out. I'll just turn a little bit so you can see me. Always good to wear black on black, apparently. <laughs> so you could be just marching. If you'd rather be standing, you could just be marching and just kind of warming up those hips and knees and everything in this way, or just taking a load off, in and out. I'm also going to get you just to rock slightly side to side, just make sure you tighten your tummy a little bit just to, to keep the pressure off the low back, you can go over as far as you like, again it's just a gentle movement, it's not really into a hard stretch yet, I'm just kind of getting those uh, hips moving a little bit, warming them up for some more. going to do a little bit, I'm going to keep it sideways here, but we're just going to do a little bit through the spine, keep floating down. Again, only if this is actually comfortable for you, if it bothers you to flex your back like that, don't, don't do it. You need to place your hands in front of you to take them below, so it doesn't put the stress on the muscles. Feel free, and then just coming up nice and straight, lifting that chest up, taking that deep breath in when we come up. Let's try that again, going down. Breathing in, big breath, and up. Let's do one more time. Yes, absolutely. Feel free to add those arms in with it when you do that big breath. Just to help open up that chest. And out. Excellent. All right. Let's just do um, a little bit of shoulder movement. You can move one at a time, both at the same time. 
Again, listen to your body. You guys hear me okay? Oh good? Yep. Yeah. All right. Just rolling back, rolling forward, or rolling individually. Remember, we want to make this so that your body's feeling better. Working out those kinks from working hard all week. Excellent. All right. We're going to start into some, a little bit more with the, the feet movement. Surprisingly, our feet get a lot of uh, wear and tear. So I'm just going to bring my foot up here. Hopefully you guys can see my sock coat. <laughs> Next up, we're wearing bright yellow socks, so everybody can see them a little bit better. All right, so um, I just want you to kind of stretch the ankle out side to side, so I'm just kind of gently pulling up and down. Again, making sure your back and the rest of your body is feeling comfortable. Good, and then pulling. We'll pull from the top, so pulling the foot. So the nice part about this is you can do the stretch standing and stuff, but then you're putting a load on it. So your muscles are actually still here to go. They're, it's Your body's like, oh, I still have to support you. So your muscles are still on. There's still contractions happening. When you take the load off, you'll get a much gentler and a much nicer stretch. If you're feeling tight through the ankle, say it's feeling really stiff when you do any of these movements, you might want to just pull on it a little bit, kind of pull it down, pull it away from your lower leg, so I'm kind of pulling in this action, just to kind of work through that stiffness. And then this back and forth. You can even do your toes. If you have some arthritis or anything in the toes, by all means, kind of work those toes out individually. Who doesn't like a foot massage, right? <laughs> Good stuff. On your feet all day. This is a great way to do it. If you are one to be on your feet a lot, um, a good way to kind of rejuvenate your feet, say you come home and it's like, oh, I still have to make supper and all that kind of stuff. I still have to get this stuff to do. A good way to kind of just recharge your legs and your lower extremities for me standing on them all day is just to, you guys can keep doing this with your foot, but just to take your feet up and putting them up against the wall, a bed, a couch, that kind of stuff, letting that pressure come off that low back. And, and you'd be surprised just doing that for two or three minutes and then just kind of maybe doing some ankle pumping, that kind of stuff, will make you feel so much better to kind of carry on with your day. All right, so that's just, you can do any of those anytime your legs feel stretched. We'll do some more of it after when we get into the hips, but I just want to throw that one out there. All right, so you guys can switch to the other foot if you haven't already switched. And again, we're just kind of going sideways first. Kind of working those tendons that come down around the ankle. Again, if they're really tight, you're just um, gently pulling on it first to maybe make some space in that joint. And then we'll pull uh, the toes down. So, oh, let's see. Can you see my foot? There we go. Pulling down like that. And then pulling back the other way. No pressure. Well, a little pressure, but no hard pressure of actually carrying your body weight. Surprising how much different it feels through there when you don't have that load on it. Feel free to wiggle it a little bit if you hit in a tight spot, just kind of rock it gently, working it through that stiffness. And again, working those toes. The benefit of this is that I've got your knees all bent, <laughs> so hopefully they're feeling all right. And just working through your foot just a little bit. Fabulous. All right. So the knees only go one way or the other, but it's good just to kind of, again, just to take that load off and just doing that stretching in between, trying to bring them up into a full bend. And then straightening out, stretch it out. Give it that little extra stretch out. This, of course, is moving the hips nice and easy as well. Perfect. All right, let's get into some more hip action. So if you're okay with it, you're going to bring your feet together. 
and then just letting your knees go out. If you want a little bit more stretch, if you feel comfortable with it, you can put a little bit of overpressure by putting your hand down. Again, just trying to keep your back up nice and straight though, so you protect your back. You can use your elbows, whatever is handy. And again, having uh, sitting on a little bit of a pillow makes it so much easier. <laughs> a lot more gentle on those hips. You do one at a time, both at the same time. And then just focusing on that breathing. Breathing in, through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, let's take one leg out. And we're gonna lean forward. Again, adjust your hips if you need to. Trying to keep that back nice and straight. You're looking for a stretch just on this inner thigh area. Good stuff. This other leg can be wherever you feel comfortable. All right. We're just going for the stretch on this one. Let's do it one more time, breathing in. Just leaning forward until you feel that stretch. No discomfort in any of your other joints. Nothing in your back. Just a gentle stretching, pulling sensation. Awesome. And let's go to the other side. Leg out. Again, nice deep breath in. And leaning forward. Fabulous. Just until you feel that nice stretch. Sometimes this one doesn't get stretched that much and it can play a surprising amount of havoc on that pelvis. Let's try it one more time coming up. Give yourself a little bit of a break. Again, up nice and tall, leaning forward. You want to put your hands out just so it takes the weight of your upper body so you aren't asking your back to hold your upper body. And this way we share the load and it feels so much better. Gently breathing in, breathing out. Don't hold your breath. You guys still hear me okay? Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Excellent. We're gonna take it right in front. We're gonna do a seated hamstring stretch this way, but we'll also do one when we're lying down. You can kind of compare them and see which one you like more. So again, you're keeping your body up nice and tall, going forward with your chest only. You don't want to collapse into it, and by collapse, I mean you don't want to a slouch like this into it. You don't want to leave with the chest down. You want to keep the chest up and kind of going forward. Try and relax the top of your thigh. Try not to let it take over and push you forward. Use your hands instead. And you should feel that up the back of the leg. All right, so we'll switch legs. So I should be feeling it on this leg. Up nice and tall. And just gently going forward. If you're tight there, I know we've had a lot of leg exercises. So if you're feeling tight there, feel free to do a few more. As I explain the next exercise, it's totally up to you what you feel comfortable with, all right? So, or do some more at the end. All right, let's do some, we're gonna do some more for your uh, lateral hips. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Because I actually prefer the, to do this lying down. Uh, so lying down so your back is relaxed. Good stuff. All right, so we're going to go back to that hip rocking. If you'd rather do one at a time, feel free. It takes a little bit of the load off. Or you can do them together. It's whatever you feel comfortable through your hips and your back. You're just gently letting the knees rock from one side. Holding that stretch, breathing. And the nice thing if you're doing both at the same time is that the one that's down closest to the floor is actually going to push up to move the other one over. So the one that was being stretched doesn't have to suddenly activate to lift. It's the other, it's the other leg's job to do that. Awesome guys, just breathing through it. Holding that stretch, whatever's good. Excellent. And we'll do it again. Try and keep your low back on the ground. Try not to let your hips shift too much so that you're just more or less feeling the pull through the outer hip area. And the low back is comfortable on the ground. If you need to, you can put your hand on 
top of your hip, uh, just to keep it anchored so that you aren't tempted just to rotate right over because then that's going to put stress on your low back and not actually stretch the hip as much. And one more time to the other side. Excellent. Breathing in and breathing out. Perfect, guys. All right, so this is where it comes in where you can actually do your hamstring stretch. So see, when you do the hamstring stretch, maybe it irritates your back a bit. You may find this one a little bit more comfortable where you can relax your back on the floor and you're just grabbing hold. You can also use, <laughs> you have something handy. You can also use a strap to do it as well if you don't feel com comfortable grabbing it. So whether it be a towel, a belt, um, uh, you know, strap for your back or whatever you have that's handy that allows you to relax and do that stretch more. And then depending on where you put this, the strap, you might also get a bit of a calf stretch as well. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. You guys all know I love my two for one stretches as long as you're making sure you're hitting that target area. All right, slowly lowering that leg and then lifting the other one. If you do one at a time, it keeps the stress off the back and allows you to relax without any strain in any other spot. Remember just breathing. Nice and deep, nice and slow. Trying to breathe right into the abdomen. Again, it doesn't have to be a big breath. It's a nice and long, slow breath. Allow the oxygen just to fill the lungs slowly so your body when the blood goes through your lungs, it has a chance to pick up all that oxygen and good stuff and deliver it to the muscles that need it. Perfect. You can also do this for the hip. This one's kind of stretchy, so it doesn't work, but as, as nicely, if you have a nice uh, solid strap, I think we'll show better on this one. That's why I'm switching, but you guys don't have to. You can keep this leg up or down, whatever feels best on the low back. But you can also let this leg shift to the side for a stretch and you can determine where you want to put it. So play around with what feels good and what you feel you have control over. You can even go out the other way for more of a groin stretch in your adductors. And again, the strap keeps the tension on your arms so that they assist with the weight of your leg. So if your hips are really tight, you might find that this is just to go maybe in circles or side to side with a strap. Really helps loosen up that tightness. And the nice thing about this is there's no weight on that hip when you're doing it. All right? All right. Let's do a pure forma stretch. So we're just gonna target a little bit more and sit it down into the legs and the hip area, we're and along that fascia, we're actually going to uh, target more into the cheek area. So I'm going to have you cross, if you're okay to cross your knee with your other foot, and then reaching in between your leg to grab hold of this one if you need to. If you feel the stretch like this, by all means, just hold the stretch there. Do not feel like you have to uh, move on. If you your hips feel pretty good here and you'd like more, you're going to grab hold and pull them up into wherever it feels the best. Once again, if that's just a little bit, maybe you're in between that area where you can actually grab it comfortably, you're gonna use a strap instead so that you can keep your arms comfortable, your back comfortable and your neck happy, and you're just going to use the strap to pull it closer. Again, breathing, and just playing around with those angles, so I'm just gently shifting my hips till I find a tight spot, and then once I find that tight spot, I'm going to hold it there for good. I like just to count my breathing. A good three, at least three slow breaths. Breathing in. Pause and breathing out. One, you'll stay more relaxed. And one, you won't hold your breath. <laughs> All right. Changing sides whenever you're ready. If you have a tight hip, feel free to do extra on that side. So just crossing over again, rock it a little bit, get it nice and loose, 
maybe the low back's a little tight or it feels better if you just let it relax a little bit, get those muscles to relax a little bit, and then gently pulling it in to whatever you feel feels good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Awesome, guys. Again, breathing in. Super. Making sure you hit all those tight spots. If your hips have been really tight, you might have to do this in a couple of different spots. And taking that time to do it two or three times to get all that tightness out. Um, sometimes you might find after workouts a good time to do it. If you want, you can carry on with that stretch, or if you'd rather, you can go into just a low back relaxed stretch where you have both knees, grabbing hold of both knees, either on top or below, wherever's comfortable, and then just rocking those hips. Uh, good times to stretch if you really t have a tight spot is after a hot shower or a bath. We've soaked it, you know, we had a nice soak, the heat's got in there nice and deep, uh, or after exercising and all those muscles are really warmed up and just taking the time to really give it a good work over, nice and gently, never forceful. All right, we're doing that, what do you call it, that baby stretch, where you grab, if you feel okay with it, you're gonna grab hold of your feet. If not, don't worry about it, just do with the hip rock. This one just relaxes the pelvis a little bit more. Uh, find it really helps with the hips, as long as you're okay with that much flexion through the hips, okay guys? So just make sure that this is not putting your joints in a bad spot. All right? If it is, just relax it back and take it out of not quite so much flexion when you do it. And you can just kind of grab the knees instead and then just leave them that way. So same stretch, just not quite as extreme in the hip flexion, okay? Perfect. While we're up here, we're just gonna do a little bit more ankle movement. Good. Awesome. And then gently setting it down. Let's do a nice big stretch. Since you guys are all down on the floor, big stretch, big breath, reaching up overhead. Stretch, stretch. Super. And down. All right. If you can, you're going to turn your thumbs up towards the top of your head in a sense. So, so you, right now I'm pointing my thumbs up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna rotate them so they go up towards the top of my head and I'm gonna do my big breath that way. Good. And then if you can bend the elbows and lean down. And then just hold it there. So this is where you feel that strain through the thoracic spine, through your shoulders, no pinching, no grinding in your shoulder joint. Just feeling that uh, gentle stretch. Just to open up that chest. Find that sweet spot. Breathing in and breathing out. Awesome. All right, we're gonna slowly roll up to a seated position again. Nice and easy. Because you're so relaxed, take your time. If you feel a little dizzy, it's not uncommon. Just give yourself a chance to come up, especially if you were working out hard before this, uh, before you did this stretch session. Get yourself nice and comfortable. We'll just do a breath in, just let everybody have a chance to get settled. I think my music stopped. <laughs> Cross your fingers, nothing else comes on. <laughs> Breathing in, and out, good stuff. All right, uh, this time wherever your legs are comfortable, that's fine. What I wanna do is a little bit of a rotation through the thoracic spine. So when you breathe in, you're gonna think tall for the top of your head, and then you're gonna use your, your uh, arms and your legs just to help you rotate, but keep your front of your hip bones, these ones right here, you wanna keep them forward. All right, so you're trying to get as much motion as you can through the rib area, so that's where you want to feel it stretching, not through the low back area. Only go as far as what you feel comfortable. So breathing in, stretching it over, good. Again, aiming for that thoracic rotation 
and keeping the front, almost your belly button even, is staying somewhat forward to keep the stress off the low back. And we'll relax to the center. And same to the other side. Breathing in, nice and tall. Kind of walking your hands to whatever you feel is comfortable. Breathing. Should have no discomfort in the muscles. No cramping, nothing like that. Nice and gently. And then coming back. Excellent. We're going to come up and drop it behind. I know this one's a tough one. If you'd like to use that strap again, you can. So it's coming up, you're grabbing hold, like so, comes behind, and then with your other hand, you're just going to gently pull it down. All right, just, just to help open up the shoulder area and here, again, no pain. You can push it if you want, you can pull it if that feels okay. Just keep that chest area up nice and open, so you almost lift it up through the uh, chest bone here. It's kind of a lift up, but keep the belly button anchored so you aren't arching through your low back, okay? Sometimes uh, when we're stiff through our thoracic spine and our shoulders, we'll actually arch through our low back to accommodate that, and that puts a lot more stress on our low back. Good. Excellent. And then we'll go to the other side. So if you're using the strap, by all means, do so. If not, you're just giving it a push or a pull with your other hand. Excellent. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. And again, we're just trying to open up this chest area. We're trying to get as much range of motion as we can through those shoulders. Anytime they're kind of rolled forward and tight through here, which they typically do because everything we do is in front, uh, we want to try and get it back. Because the shoulder just basically sits and is held there by tendons and ligaments, right? There's no actual little bony groove for it to sit in. It very much depends on those muscles. So if we have, we have to have it in that correct position for it to be able to move without pain and impingement, okay? So if you're ever feeling pinching or grinding, it's, you just want to take a second and think, are they back and down or are they forward? So you want them back and down to make sure they're in that space before you try and reach, especially anything overhead or uh, into the extreme ranges, right? Usually through there. That's where you're gonna feel the pinching, it's going up into this motion or here. So if you feel it then, that's definitely a sign that you just wanna double check that thoracic spine in those shoulder positions. Super guys. Let's do a few more cool down stretches. Um, do some for our wrist, all right? So just gently pulling back. Like so, I'm just going to shift so you can see me a little bit better. So hand up. If you get a lot of compression through your wrist, you might want to pull on it gently first before you pull it up, just to give your body that little extra room. If things are really tight in there, they've already kind of scrunched it in, so you want to kind of distract it. Pull it out and up. Gentle stretch, you'll feel it mainly in the muscle part in your forearm and hopefully only pressure in the wrist, okay? Again, just keeping yourself seated where you're comfortable and then back down the other way so we get the other muscles that operate this side. And you'll feel them anywhere all the way up to your elbow, all right, because that's where they connect. If you're... Uh, Doing a lot of gardening, a lot of keyboarding, that kind of stuff. Uh, using your hands all the time, grabbing, carrying, anything like that. These are great stretches to do. Remember to do your breathing. Stretch and out. Fabulous. And don't forget the thumbs. All right, so what we're going to do, your thumbs are up on top. I'm going to tuck them into my hands here and then just tip them down until I feel a stretch there. All right, just put them wherever your shoulders are happy to have them. And you just want a gentle stretch. If you're really tight, you'll feel it. If you're feeling not too bad, you probably won't feel too much. All right, and then just wiggling them, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out, let's do some wrist, 
It should feel a little bit more supple, moving easy. Good and breathing. Shoulders, elbows, big breath in, stretching up and relaxing. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stretch session today.